metal becomes high-tech. New materials for mobility, energy, medicine, infrastructure and safety. With physical and mechanical characteristics that were unimaginable a few years ago. We enter the worlds of quantum mechanics of complex materials down to the atomic scale. We enter worlds that nobody has ever seen before. For over 100 years, the Max Planck Institute for Eisenforschung in Dusseldorf has been delivering essential scientific findings for new materials and technology. International research teams are developing solutions together with engineers and technicians equipped with cutting-edge technology in close collaboration with the industry. Our work will influence future safety of cars, safer aeroplanes, cleaner turbines for stationary power plants and the like. Doctoral student Menji Zhao researches the structure and the exact composition of a newly developed alloy. With the help of a so-called 3D atom probe, it delivers three-dimensional images of the arrangement of single atoms and the chemical composition of the metal. The world's most accurate model of a new metal that could set new milestones. Each dot is an atom, each color a different chemical element. People never explored in the very dense multi-component alloys, we could probably uh, find out uh, new uh, mechanisms and also new uh, fascinating alloys could be applied to the industry. With the help of atom probe tomography, we will be able to understand how the characteristics of materials are influenced by their microstructure, and this understanding will lead to new ideas. I think the real big goal during the next 10 or 15 years is really to gain a complete theoretical understanding how different types of atoms act together to form complex materials based on a quantum mechanical understanding. Dirk Rabe is the director of the Department of Microstructure, Physics and Alloy Design, where new ideas for groundbreaking alloys are being researched. The prototypes for new alloys are developed by the merging of pre-chosen and accurately dosed chemical elements. Before starting elaborate and costly experiments, the experts of the Department for Computational Material Design simulate and discuss the physical properties of new metal combinations. We have very good connections with different leading steel industries and other companies where actually we try to collaborate to give guidelines to them. The Department for Structure, Nano and Micromechanics of Materials expose the samples to extreme strain, partly in tiny mechanical devices. Traces and results of the given tests are examined to the atomic level by the scientists. The answers from the crystal grid world and atoms will help us to invent new products. For the chip industry it's very valuable to actually um, have this knowledge about what happens in these small length scales. Uh, on the one hand. On the other hand, um, it's also good to have the idea of, of what the structure looks like. But how to protect modern alloys against environmental damage? What looks like a coral reef under the electron microscope is in fact rust. How to avoid corrosion or how to use this electrochemical procedure for energy conversion and storage is being researched by the Department of Interface Chemistry and Surface Engineering. Helped by electrochemistry, the scientists provide the basics for new coatings or the improvement of catalytic converters and fuel cells. For me, as an engineer, I was always interested in the fundamental aspects of what is really going on in an application. So this is why I chose this institute. The teams at the Max Planck Institute for Eisenforschung in Dusseldorf benefit from an exhaustless pool of know-how, ideas technology and motivation. I get an opportunity to learn not only the scientific aspect, but also I have an opportunity to learn from the different cultures and things about the different nations. You know, you, you come here and you realize this place has been here for 100 years now, and they're still going and improving every year, so they must be doing something right. 
What we are specifically very proud of today is really the team itself. It's really the interaction of people from physics, from engineering, from chemistry, who all work together on a very international scale to make this happen. Wherever the researchers may go in the coming years, their friendships and contacts will remain to the Max Planck Institute for Eisenforschung in Dusseldorf.